In the coming weeks, the problems lingering from Formula 1's controversial 2021 season finale in Abu Dhabi may finally be resolved. The FIA has started its investigation into the process behind the safety car period that dramatically influenced the outcome of the World Championship fight between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen in December. Details on what to expect from an important process have been scarce, but the governing body has finally broken its silence and offered an update. Here we pick through what's been said officially and what we've learned over the last month to outline the key details of a review that's considered of vital importance to end a saga that the FIA itself has admitted has tarnished Formula One. A month has passed since the FIA World Motorsport Council announced its intention to conduct its review, but the process has finally begun. It's been acknowledged by an FIA statement that broke the governing body's run of silence since that WMSC meeting on December 15th. The FIA says that new president Mohammed Ben Sulaym has launched a consultation with all F1 teams on various issues, including the Abu Dhabi review. Interviewing key personnel such as race director Michael Massey and the stewards will form part of a process the FIA claims will be thorough and transparent. All the drivers will be invited to a shared discussion at a later stage in the process too. Exactly what the FIA will investigate is a key matter, especially as the stewards backed Massey's actions at the time. The headline items are likely to be the process that led to only the five lapped cars between Hamilton and Verstappen being allowed to unlap themselves before the race restart and not the other three of Daniel Ricciardo, Sebastian Vettel and Mick Schumacher and the decision to ignore the rule that states the safety car must come into the pits at the end of the following lap, which, if followed, would have been at the end of the final lap of the race. Massey fast-tracked this to ensure a green flag finish, and the circumstances gave Verstappen a chance to attack Hamilton, who had comfortably led the entire Grand Prix and was set to win an eighth title. The Red Bull driver used fresher, softer tyres to do that successfully. The process Massey implemented was justified by the stewards as being an extension of power supposedly enabled by Article 15.3 that gives the race director overriding authority on the use of the safety car. In basic terms, the review should seek to determine whether the process Massey followed was justified and regardless of whether the rules were interpreted and applied correctly, whether this scenario should be allowed to play out in the future or if changes to the rules are necessary. Given the calls for transparency from the FIA, it would also seem prudent to establish whether the stewards afterwards felt any pressure to justify the call to avoid changing the result. How confident you are in this being handled properly likely depends on whether you believe the FIA is open to admitting any wrongdoing. After the December WMSC meeting, the FIA controversially stated that the use of the safety car and the communications between the race direction team and F1 teams had notably generated significant misunderstanding and reactions from Formula 1 teams, drivers and fans. This carried a clear implication that what happened was okay and it was only misunderstood indicating the FAA is not keen to concede the call might have been wrong. However, at the time it was still vulnerable to court action from Mercedes, which may have influenced what it was willing to state publicly. Before we explain what could change as a result of this review and what it might mean for Massey, we're pausing to say thank you to everyone who has supported our channel so far. If you're not already a subscriber, we have a quick favour to ask. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button. It helps us out more than you'd think, and we've got plenty in the pipeline that's going to make it worth your while. Ben Sulayem was initially reluctant to comment publicly on the controversial F1 finale as it predated his presidency. He was elected a few days after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and instead focused on the FAA World Motorsport Council's announcement of a review into what happened and said the governing body needed to push for improvements and be proactive rather than reactive in the future. In the wake of recent pressure on the FIA's processes, the governing body has been moved to stress how seriously Ben Sulaym is taking this. It has specifically stated the new president has kick-started a consultation with teams on multiple topics, not just the review, as well as empowered General Secretary for Sport Peter Bayer to assess potential changes to the FIA's F1 structure, which as we'll come to shortly, could have implications for Massey. There will likely be important secondary elements too, such as assessing the phrasing of the requirement for any rather than all cars to be allowed to unlap themselves, reviewing the radio exchanges Massey had with Mercedes and Red Bull team bosses Toto Wolff and Christian Horner, and establishing the best way to ensure a green flag finish, which Massey said at the time was something all the teams support when it's possible. 
It's likely that the review will cement a planned move to stop senior team figures being able to speak to the race director during a Grand Prix, after former FAA president Jean Todd said the governing body had become too permissive with teams. And it could establish the need to formalise how to ensure a green flag finish, such as incorporating a rule whereby, in the case of a safety car incident in the last X number of laps, a red flag and a restart is required. Linked to this is the revelation from the FIA that a January 19th meeting of the Sporting Advisory Committee, which can recommend changes to the regulations, will include a dedicated discussion on the use of the safety car. The FIA has named a firm deadline for completing the process as it intends to present the outcome of its analysis to the F1 Commission in February and announce final decisions at the World Motorsport Council on March 18th in Bahrain, which will host the 2022 F1 season opener just two days later. Though this seems too close to the start of the season, it's likely that all the relevant findings and changes will actually be disclosed at the F1 Commission meeting, and the WMSC will just be a rubber stamping exercise. That's relevant to Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton, as the seven-time world champion's future in F1 has been uncertain pending the outcome of this review. Were the FIA really to leave it until March 18th to disclose its final decisions, it could be interpreted as deliberately late so as to force Hamilton's hand but it's expected that the presentation to the F1 Commission in February will tell Mercedes and Hamilton everything they need to know. Mercedes has never publicly demanded it wants the FAA to replace Massey as race director, but his departure and that of Nicolas Tombassis are reportedly on the team's wish list. Asked last month if a change of race director would give Mercedes more confidence in the FIA, Wolf said it's not only a decision to change the race director, the whole system of decision making needs to be improved. Though the stewards sided with Massey in their verdict on Mercedes' initial protest on the Sunday in Abu Dhabi, the FIA has since effectively admitted the end of the race may have been mishandled by pledging this in-depth review of what happened and promising necessary changes will be made. There has been no public backing of Massey since then, either in the final days of Todd's FAA presidency or since Ben Sulaim took office. Ben Sulaim would not comment on Massey's future on his first media appearance after taking the presidency, stating it would be premature to jump into that topic. He said we will have to actually look into the matter. I am just newly elected. I will look into every single matter that can improve the FAA or that there is an issue about. But I definitely wouldn't just jump to conclusions and decisions without going back to my team. Now Ben Sulaim has asked Peter Bayer for proposals to review and optimise the organisation of the FIA F1 structure for this season. This hints at a resolution on the future of Massey, whose position as race director has seemed untenable since Abu Dhabi, and also FIA F1 technical leader Tom Bassis. Bayer was name-checked by Wolf in December as giving him assurances the FIA would make changes to close gaps that have opened up more and more over the last few years. He was recently appointed as the head of single-seater matters for the FIA, a remit previously held by Massey and Tom Bassis as part of a restructuring that was planned before the Abu Dhabi controversy. Bayer will be in charge of the three-pronged technical, sporting and financial pillars, with heads of each of those departments reporting to him. Theoretically, Massey and Tom Bassis could still continue in these positions. This restructure is part of F1 technical matters being transferred from FOM to the governing body, it's partly in response to the planned retirement of F1's Chief Technical Officer Pat Simmons this summer and the fact that the current F1 Managing Director of Motorsport Ross Braun is only contracted until the end of 2022. There has been growing dissatisfaction in the paddock over the way rules are enforced in F1, particularly since the late Charlie Whiting passed away on the eve of the 2019 season. Massey and Tom Bassis have been connected to last month's criticism from Wolf about F1 teams being held to ransom by ad hoc decisions by officials. And while this particular FIA reshuffle has not been linked to the Abu Dhabi review, the ongoing investigation is a good opportunity for the restructuring to go even further and offer a clean slate. Let us know in the comments how you would like the FIA to handle this and what you think needs changing. And if you've enjoyed our video and like what we do, then leave us a thumbs up for support, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and join us again next time.